fabulous art and her her photography. Uh, we at Cal are welcoming Women's Appreciation Month for what they do in the community and also in the art field. So Linda, uh, how long have you been drawing? Um, I've been drawing all my life. I'm not professionally trained. I've been doing it on my own and been trying to teach myself. And what, what, what kind of flavors does that bring to you to see your art in the, in the Cal by the Shore and your, your painting and your photography? What kind of I like abstract work is what I'm working as the medium I'm working in. I do photography, painting, oils, acrylics, not a landscape. And uh, uh, these are her pictures behind us. There's a different center of the beach and uh, Long Beach, and there's some trees that are floating in heaven, I guess. And then there's a, I'm still figuring that out back there, but it's beautiful. It looks like uh, ice, mm -hmm. or, uh, and it's a uh, very unique. Uh, uh, photography and, and she does it uh, straight from the art. So, what do you want to get out of your art? What do you want people to get out of your art? I just have a love for art, and I like uh, if they can visualize and see what in the abstract what I see. You know, this is a picture of the forest. Okay. Uh, do you think art's missing in Long Beach? You think people don't appreciate art as much as they should in Long Beach? Um, probably so. Yeah, we want to bring we want to bring that to the forefront in Long Beach. We want people to come out to Cal by the Shore and appreciate what we do here. Uh, uh, we have some fabulous women here doing some art, and I think Everett's on his way off the skis to bring in the other picture that she's uh, that she was uh, drawing. Everett, are you around? I think he's around somewhere. He's getting off the jet ski. We're never on the same page. I think he's just getting off his motorcycle or his right. <laughs> uh, here he comes. <laughs> All right. So, this art piece right here, beautiful. Let me ride along. Multiple colors. You know, Efren draws a, a similar a paintings like this, and she says she considers herself a beginning, a beginner. But this is professionally done. This is fantastic. Uh, she has it on display here. Come down, we're open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 3 to 8. Come down and view these pictures. Uh, paintings, and come out and, and take one home with you. Look, look it on your wall. Matter of fact, you can take me home and put you on your wall too. Come on down here and get some of these paintings. Can you explain uh, what this was done with? Or how this you was it? done with Cuban music, and I was listening to the music and letting the music move me as I painted it and incorporating the colors. That's fantastic. Wow. And this, is, is that something a lot of artists do? Do you guys always listen to music or sometimes? Do you guys have total solitary when you're doing Something art? usually has to inspire you to want to do something and move you on. I just found these colors fascinating. Yeah, it's fascinating. It looks good on somebody's wall, especially somewhere in Naples or Bixby Knowles. Uh, so come on down to Shoreline, and we also have the Bungalow 729 Pine. So we have painting like this all over the place, and we're going to have more. We have, and then there's going to be more of our shows, and she's really unique, and she's really got the heart for it. Thank you for listening to the Calabar Show.